I have one last question, and then uh, uh, it's, I know it's dinner time there. Uh, uh, the future of X, XAI, um, what's your vision there, pal? Well, as I was saying, I think the, the path to AI safety is to build an AI that is maximally truth-seeking with acknowledged error, that's maximally curious. And I think... Um, that I think that, that that is most likely to lead to a good outcome for humanity, um, because we are we are much more interesting than 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 not humanity. Mm. Like like I, I obviously you know I'm a big fan of Mars, but Mars is much less interesting because there is no human civilization there. Um, and um, if you take humans for example, we we. We could hunt down all of the chimpanzees and kill them, but we don't. And in fact, we make efforts to preserve their habitats. Um, we would, so anyway, I think that that's, that is the path to a great future and, and a, a maximally positive AI is to be rigorously truth-seeking, always acknowledging some amount of error, and and maximally curious. Um, that's and that's that's the the goal of XAI's uh, and you know the company motto is understand the universe. Uh, um, and that's a that's a that's a good mission and, and one that's going to take a bit of time. I can't wait till the first uh, AI is able to come up with new theories of physics. Um, and, uh, and yeah. new innovations. That's going to be, I mean, I don't think that's far away, and I think that's going to be one of the most awesome times ever to be alive. True. Uh, like, we we definitely live in the most interesting times. And I actually, for a while I was kind of depressed about AI, but then I, I kind of got fatalistic about it and said, like, well, even if, even if AI was going to you know, end all, all humanity. Would I prefer to be around to see it or not? I, I guess I would prefer to be around to see it, um, just out of curiosity. But I mean, obviously, hopefully, AI is extremely beneficial to humanity. But but the thing that sort of reconciled me to be less anxious about it was to say, well, I, I guess even if it was apocalyptic, I'd still be curious to see the. It's like, you know, I'll be, be curious to see it. I, I remember I was at your birthday party at one of your homes here in L.A. before you sold them. Uh, and Larry Page was there and Sergey was there. Oh, yeah. And we were having a conversation about living in a simulation. And the notion was this is we're in the 99th level of the gameplay. And this has got to be a simulation because you couldn't. Why would be why would it be alive right now in this single most interesting time? And then uh, the only comment was, "Don't poke the simulation, or it'll, <laughs> it'll end." Yeah. yeah. Well, <clears throat> if we are in a simulation, the, the the way to keep the simulation going is to keep being interesting. So, like humans run lots of computer simulations because we 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 don't know what the outcome is going to be. And we're, we're curious to see. We, we'll run lots of simulations, like in, like Tesla will run crash simulations, and SpaceX will run, you know, uh, rocket flight simulations. And um, we only stop doing the simulations when the when the outcome is extremely predictable and boring. Yes. And so if if, if we're in some <laughs> alien, that's a, computer, that's a great argument. That is perfect. Right. When yeah. it's absolutely known, <laughs> if, 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 we're not, if we're not if we're not entertaining enough to the uh, to the digital gods or the uh, universe gods, they'll end the sim. Yeah, we just need to make sure we have the, to keep the ratings up. <laughs> um, yeah. But but this is why also why I think like one of the um, ways to predict the future is that the most entertaining outcome is the most likely, that as seen by a third party. As seen by as though we were in an alien soap opera. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, like so. It's not necessarily good for those in the soap opera. Like you could be watching a World War One movie, 
<laughs> and seeing, you know, people get blown up. Yeah. Um, and, and you're just eating popcorn and drinking a soda. Um, but we're, we're, we're in the movie. Um, yeah. Well, let's not get let's so, not get dystopian yeah. here because I think we can have a we can have a we can have a really positive outcome of a lot of other cool stuff. Um, yeah, for sure. I think most likely the outcome is positive. And and I think if you, you know, and I think that's partly a self fulfilling prophecy. If you don't believe so, if you believe it's going to be a dystopian outcome, then you're going to be back on your heels, protecting yourself, not investing in the future. And it unravels, and this, yeah. and and so you know, I think the the message of this entire space is is this is the most extraordinary time to be alive, the most exciting time to be alive, a time where you know a lot a lot of individuals listening on the spaces has more power than kings or queens or heads of nations had just a few decades ago, and it doesn't take a government or a large corporation to solve a problem anymore. You know, an entrepreneur with you know some a, a few H one hundreds can do a good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think we should err on the side of optimism. Um, we should we should err on the side of optimism, and we should have kids. <laughs> um, like uh, you know, to 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 err is human, <laughs> and to H E I R, <laughs> and to reproduce is human. <laughs> All right, buddy. Listen, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sharing.